Cardiomyopathy is a general term used to describe a group of diseases that affect the heart muscles. These conditions can lead to structural and functional abnormalities in the heart, which can impair its ability to pump blood effectively. And these are divided into three. Dilated cardiomyopathy, restrictive cardiomyopathy, and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Dilated cardiomyopathy is characterized by the enlargement and weakening of the left ventricle of heart. This enlargement disrupts the normal structure and function of heart, reducing its pumping efficiency. As the heart muscle weakens and becomes less efficient, it struggles to pump blood effectively. This can lead to reduced ejection fraction, which is a measurement of how blood is pumped out of the heart with each contraction. Common symptoms of dilated cardiomyopathy can include inadequate blood flow to tissue causes fatigue, weakness, and breathlessness. Insufficient blood pumping causes a buildup of blood resulting in swelling in legs and ankles. Due to inadequate pumping forces, the heart needs to exert extra effort to meet the body's demand, resulting in rapid or irregular heartbeats and chest discomfort or pain. The exact cause of dilated cardiomyopathy is often unknown, but it can also be associated with various factors including genetic mutations, viral infections, excessive alcohol or drug use, some medications such as chemotherapy, drugs, or autoimmune conditions. Diagnosis is done by echocardiogram to assist the heart's structure and function. It may indicate chamber enlargement um, and depress left ventricular ejection fraction. ECG is done to check for abnormal heart rhythm and sometimes additional testing such as MRI or cardiac catheterization is required. Treatment for dilated cardiomyopathy aims to manage symptoms, improve the heart's function, and address any underlying causes or contributing factors. Common treatment may include medications like beta blockers, AC inhibitors, or diuretics to manage heart failure symptoms. Lifestyle modifications such as reducing alcohol intake and managing hypertension. And in severe cases, devices like ICD or heart transplantation is required. In restrictive cardiomyopathy, the heart muscle becomes stiff and less compliant, which impairs the heart's ability to fill blood properly, and it can lead to symptoms of heart failure. Symptoms of restrictive cardiomyopathy may include fatigue, shortness of breath, swelling in legs and ankles, abdominal discomfort or pain due to liver enlargement and feeling of fullness in the upper abdomen due to the enlargement of spleen, arrhythmia are also common. Causes of restrictive cardiomyopathy may vary, including infiltrative diseases like amyloidosis, sarcoidosis, hemochromatosis. In some cases, it may be idiopathic. Diagnosis is done with echocardiogram, which may show left atrial enlargement and right atrial enlargement. Cardiac MRI and sometimes endomyocardial biopsy to identify the underlying cause and confirm the diagnosis. Treatment for restrictive cardiomyopathy aims to manage symptoms and address the un underlying cause when possible. Medications such as diuretics may be prescribed to reduce fluid retention and other medication may be used to manage heart failure symptoms and control arrhythmia. In some cases, treatment for underlying disease, chemotherapy for amyloidosis may be necessary. Heart transplantation may be considered for severe cases. In hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, the heart muscle becomes thicker than normal, particularly in the septum and sometimes the left ventricle itself. This thickening can lead to an obstruction of blood flow out of the heart known as left ventricular outflow tract obstruction. The symptoms of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy resemble those of heart failure because the heart is unable to effectively pump enough blood resulting in chest pain or discomfort, shortness of breath, fatigue, dizziness or fainting, palpitations and irregular heartbeats. 
Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is an inherited condition which runs in the family. Mutation in various genes such as MYH7, MYBPC3, genes are commonly associated with the development of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Diagnosis typically involves electrocardiogram, transthoracic echocardiography, Doppler study which may show asymmetric septal hypertrophy. Treatment for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy aims to manage symptoms, prevent complications, and improve the heart function. Medications may be prescribed, including beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, and antiarrhythmatic drugs. In some cases, surgical procedures such as septal myectomy or alcohol septal ablation may be recommended to relieve obstruction. Implantable devices like pacemaker or defibrillators may also be used in certain situations. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe.